Let's talk about Datastax Enterprise DS Bulk Utility. So DS Bulk, what is it? It's a funny name, right? But it has a lot of power. So what is DS Bulk? It's pretty much a big import tool, a really good import tool, specifically built for Datastax Enterprise. So you can take CSV files, JSON, and import that data into a table or multiple tables. And it's all a command line interface tool which makes it really easy to use when you're using it in say a cron job or something like that. It was built out of this idea that we need to get data into this database. How do you do it efficiently? So if you've ever used any other database load tool in Datastax Enterprise, you know that this can be really difficult. Things like SS table loader can be really difficult to work with over time. Sometimes you just have a file and you wanna get it into the database. And taking data out can be hard too. Using the copy command, isn't exactly the best for the largest bits of data. So if you have terabytes of data, you're not gonna use copy. If you have gigabytes of data, you're not gonna use copy. So what do you use? Well, a lot of folks use SS table loader, like I said, but it's not the best way to do this. Bulk loader solves a lot of those problems. And it is built around this idea that you will have to load a lot of data. So what are some of the use cases? If you have a lot of files, the pile of files, if you will, that happens a lot. You get data from some data source that may be ordered by day and you have multiple files. How do you get them all into the database? How about that one-time load where you need to bring something into production from maybe a migration? Also with developers, if you need to load data from a different data source to start working with it, it's a good tool for that. And then even like it's a backup. So let's say you have a table that you wanna just quickly backup. You can unload that table into a file and store it away. Maybe it's static data or something like that. That's a good use case. And then finally, what if you have a change in data model? Changing data models means that you need to reload your data. So you unload it from one data model and then you can load it back into a different data model. It gives you the facilities to do that. So if you see the command syntax here, it's very much oriented around the command line. There is no graphic utility for this. DSBulk takes lots of different flags. At its most simple, you can tell it to load or unload and give it a file name. In this example, you can see I'm gonna load a file from a CSV and I'm gonna load it into a keyspace one, table one. That's it, real easy. It'll take that CSV file from file one CSV, load it into my table. The mapping specifications are stored in the application.conf file and you can map out some really complicated things or do it pretty simply. The nice thing is that we follow some standards for the mapping format. It's the familiar Hocon format which you can go out and find in a lot of places. It's not just specific to DS bulk. So this should be a good overview of how to use it. It's a pretty simple tool, but very powerful. It should be in your toolbox when it comes to developing code with Datastax Enterprise.